I'm going to go out on a limb here and basically alert. And I have been in the space a long time. And especially I've been watching things develop on LinkedIn. And I've noticed that there are a lot of Russians launching ICOs um, on projects that, you know, look good, sound good, and everything else. But I'm just putting an alarm out there that if you, uh, I see this as really no different than what Vladimir Putin did to our election. And I could be completely wrong here. And, I, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But, but you know, the um, SSB, the, the Russians were very skillful in milking the American election. And I could see them extremely skillful in duping individuals in basically stealing, you know, tens of millions of dollars on this whole ice, fake ICO. So imagine, um, you know, um, using your know-how, your intelligence, your, your, your bots and everything else that you have in place to pimp and promote ICOs out there that are for the sole purpose that they know aren't going to go anywhere. And they're just, they're just raking in money, raking in money. And I've been seeing this pattern of ICOs that really don't really strike me of anything more than pump and dump hype and Vladimir Putin or Vladimir underscore ICO, right? Um, he's always on all of them. And he unfriended me. I'm not pissed at him. I'm just now thinking, why, why would he unfriend me? For just pointing out something and now they unfriended me maybe there's something deeper that I that I may I hit upon so his reaction was so strong because he represents so many he's like he could say hey man I made a mistake dude I goofed right yeah I was over enthusiastic but instead what he did was he changed it he hit it he confronted me he unfriended me and I'm a nice guy and I said well comment on my video right um, I pointed out another ICO recently, and a VC from Silicon Valley actually got in touch with me and said, listen, man, I can vouch for these guys. I saw his LinkedIn stuff. He says, trust me, these guys are legit. There's reasons why we haven't done it. And my response to him was, well, reasons aren't good enough, right? Because ultimately, what you're doing is going to impact the SEC's ruling that hurts us all. So by you trying to skirt under the radar because you're afraid that your Chinese inve your Chinese coders are going to get busted by the Chinese government, or you're afraid that the SEC is going to snoop, the SEC knows, buddy. You don't think there's a whole friggin' FBI task force dedicated to all of this? You don't think that they're watching where the money is going and where all this is going? You're a complete, utter fool. So I'm putting a call out to the FBI to look into valid Vladimir underscore ICO, to look at all these ICOs that he's pimping out and these and these in these projects that are all 99% Russians. And if you look at it, and one of the things like this last one, I just call uh, crypto yon, crypto shion, crypto shion? <laughs> It was like, oh, look at all these people. It is like how could, you know, like all these, uh, you know, they're all Russians, it's like heavy, and it's, they've, they've, they've wrote this skillful paper that looks good, just like the ads that came to the American people. Um, could the Russians be using ICOs as a way to, to raise money nefariously for, for the SSB or whatever, the KGB, the new KGB, and um, I think as a tipster, as someone in the space, Watching the space, I'm concerned. I hope I'm wrong. And Vladimir underscore ICO on Twitter, um, I apologize if I'm wrong. And I am, you know, and you are a legit guy and everything else. But I'm just saying how, how calling it as, I, as I'm seeing it. And maybe a year from now, it'll turn out to be true. And people go, hell shit, Michael Trout was right. These damn Russians were milking the ICOs and were raking millions and all this money, this crypto has disappeared into the dark web, right? Because this is that's the cool thing about this money, is you know, it can it can basically go poof. Something to consider.